Hi guys, welcome back. I don't need. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Victoria. I'm 23 years old. I have a little boy who is two and a half, and I am a nursery assistant. Today, I thought I'd do a bit of a different video, a bit of a sit down, chatty video about budgeting. Um, especially with me, I'm a single mum. There's only my income, and it is hard. I've had to budget for coming up to like uh, four years now. And um, basically, the minute I found out I was pregnant, it was like a budgeting to afford everything. And I'm not embarrassed that I've had to budget to be where I am. I've had to make sure that he comes before me um a lot of the time and yeah budgeting has been a lot um a part of that and i just thought i'd show the point as what i use to budget and i hope that kind of help you guys in a way so yeah if you do enjoy the video then please smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and let's get into this a budgeting video I haven't really got any pointers. I'm just gonna go from the top of my head of how I budget. Especially on days of their life. Every day I'm budgeting about something. Um, the first topic or bit I'm gonna talk about is budgeting for COVID clothes. Because when you need to get a new set of wardrobe for any age of child, it is expensive. Hands down, it is expensive. You need a whole wardrobe for this little human being who's probably gonna grow out of it in about six months time. I'm quite lucky, Kobe's clothes now last him for a good year, year and a half top. So I'm quite lucky with that. Um, But yeah, how I budget. First thing I do, if I go to a supermarket for clothes, if I go online, I always, especially online, I go from, lowest to highest just so then i can get the best value for my money um if i'm in a supermarket and they have a sales i'll go straight to some sales and i will look out you know it means i'm getting last season's fashion i ain't bothered because at the end of the day i'm doing what i can afford um or another thing that i do with clothes as well is I get the multi pack so I can get like five tops, five joggers. They're like five outfits there. Like a child doesn't need a lot of outfits. Like I used to be one of them mums and who would buy about 50 outfits? Would he wear them all? No. Like when I was getting out of them, I was like, that's still got a tag on. He hasn't even worn that. So for me, definitely big thing is I've got high to lowest shopping online another one sale rack two get multi packs try and get like five multi pack three multi packs especially for tops and bottoms um another thing I found was I'd get about 10 packs of joggers I'd get a couple of pairs of jeans and a couple of smart ish trousers um and leggings and then I'd have about 10 lots of bottoms, but then I'd have about 25 tops. So I'd mix and match, and then I'd get a couple of outfits. That's what I've realised is suitable for him, instead of going overboard. Um, vests, I'd definitely get multi packs. The packs are five. Again, I'd pick them up. Socks, go to Primark, go to the pound shop. You can get 10 packs of socks from Primark for £2.80. Two packs of them and you are good to go. Do you know what I mean? Stuff like that will save you a lot of money. This is what I've learned to realise. So that's number one. Shoes, again, I made the mistake of buying shoes before he was walking. Was there any need for that? No. It was £25 there. I wasted 
but I took out of a budget because I wanted him to have a pair of shoes before he could even walk. What am I doing? So I would definitely start getting shoes when they're walking or when they started to cruise around. Definitely start getting shoes then. Um, my tip for that again, look in the sale. Look when they're having a half price sale on. Another thing that I've been really bad for, and I'm still bad for it now, is buying shoes what I've got a label on. So buying a pair of shoes because I've got Nike on. Buying a pair of shoes because I've got Adidas on. I'm bad for it now. I'm not as bad. Like, I'll go out and I'll buy a pair of shoes that aren't branded now. But back when he just started walking, at about a year old, so about a year and a half ago, he never had a pair of shoes what didn't have a label on. And I used to save to get them shoes for the next size up. I'm an idiot. I am an idiot for doing that because there is nothing wrong with buying a nice pair of trainers from River Island that look nice but they're not branded. Again, go for what you can afford. Do not be going to buy branded stuff because everybody else has. Number two, don't go around buying the top notch because somebody else has got it. Don't. You don't need to. You don't need to be going out to JD and buying them 10, 15 tracksuits. Save. Go on to Vintage. Go on to, go on to eBay, Marketplace. Search in what you're looking for and you could probably get them. A lot of Kobe's designer tracksuits, the second hand. That is a good tip as well. Always look in your marketplace. Always look on Vintage. Vintage is literally my best friend. I freaking love it. I get everything off Vintage pretty much. Half his wardrobe is Vintage. And eBay. eBay is really good. I freaking do love an eBay shop. Um, but yeah, have a look on there. Try and get bundles. You know, you can type it in, for example, Ted Baker dresses. And you just get about 20 lovely Ted Baker dresses. I typed in the, the other week for Kobe, night tracksuits, Tommy Hilfiger tracksuits. And there were some lovely ones. And I ordered them quite a few. I had bothered with the second hand. The ones I picked up, they had labels still on. So it doesn't matter where you buy them from. Um, so yeah, for equipment wise, it's a hard one because like sterilised bottles, I would go brand new, but have a look at TK Maxx, have a look when a baby sale's on, TK Maxx, I freaking loved that one, Kobe was the baby, I loved it, I got him a pack of six, they're all multicoloured um, Tommy Tippy bottles because they were the only ones he would use, I didn't want to buy a load of bottles, and no joke, I picked up a six pack of Tommy Hilfiger bottles for six ninety nine. They're about 30 quid. I saved that, so go to your local TK Maxx, have a look through their clothes, because they have some beautiful clothes, and nobody will have the same clothes as you. Have a look at their like equipment. Sometimes you can get sterilised in there. I've seen sterilisers, cot sheets, most basket sheets in there, muslin cloths, bibs, bottles, bottle brushes. Have a look and see, because you can get them from a fraction of the price. What else did I get from TK Maxx? I got a quite a lot of tracksuits from there as well for him. Again, your baby toys are amazing. Grab them from TK Maxx. Books for like babies or grown up toddlers, 3 99 for a book. Which will probably cost you ten, fifteen pound bloody water stamps. Way, way up type thing. Um. So yeah. Um. Another place is really good for cot sheets and most basket sheets. I thought we should be in them. Go and stock up on if you are doing like sachets or you want breakfast, like the pots of porridge. B and M is your place to go. They have some amazing bargains in there. Um, I got like fruit pots and stuff like that from B&M for like 150, two pound at a push. They use about three, four pound for the Calgate ones. 
they're really good and another thing is if you are entitled to milk vouchers if you are entitled to anything like that get it because it helps i know milk vouchers aren't gonna do a lot now because milk have gone up like your baby powder milk but they do help i really they basically bought my milk for the month them vouchers did uh, child benefit as well that really helped definitely apply for that but it helped it's an extra eight quid a month that definitely helped for me especially with nappies and wipes um but yeah whatever you are entitled to as a mum get it that that's my best tip so yeah i'm gonna leave that here because i rambled on for a good about 11 minutes now about how I budget and how I've got stuff um so yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you did then please smash a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you'd like a part two of how I made budget for his birthdays and Christmases I will happily do that so yeah I hope you enjoyed bye guys